in there. Mysterious Jackson from the Mysterious Show. <clears throat> well, where in the hell do I begin? I mean, I just got done watching the Surviving R. Kelly documentary. Okay, no. What the hell are you doing, R. Kelly? Like, that nigga needs some serious help. I mean, how are you gonna do what you're doing to all these girls to the point where you're, you're mad at them you're pulling out Dominique here? Like, what the hell? To the point where she had to cut her hair? And that the fact that the, the father of the, um, jo- Joseph Sa- Savage kid, still, the parents are still looking for them? Like, oh, what the hell? And then, making the other girls disguise their voice? And why are you doing something special to them? Talking about some, yes, daddy! Come on, like, what the hell are you doing, I know. His wife don't even love you anymore. And like you you got all all this wealth and all this money and you wanna have underage sex with 14, 18 year old girls. And, and I don't want nobody to blame the fucking kids talking about oh the kids the kids should have known better. It's never the kids fault. What are you, you it's the you? it's the parent parents fault for not paying attention. You already got got the deduction going on with the parents and other people getting kidnapped, and yet you got this nigga having sex with 14, 18 year old, 20 year old girls and 17 year olds. And then, not only that, he's having sex with his hair braider. That ain't professional. That ain't professional at all. And the fact that, you know, you guys are doing all this shit. R. Kelly, you really need to get your ass beat you a 52 year old man you about to be 53 this year nigga what the hell is wrong with you you need to get your ass whooped you need to stop making music because your career is over and you're a piece of shit and to all those women that you molested and raped and manipulated, your soul is going to burn in hell. Like I said in my last video when I was burning your ass. I don't like none of your music anymore. You only got one album that I liked. And I don't even like that shit anymore. What you've done... To these women, you need some serious help. You need to stay away from the young girls, find somebody your own fucking age, and back the hell off. Robert Sylvester Kelly, you should be a damn shamed of yourself. You need to cut the shit out. You know, I understand you got molested or whatever. And I feel bad for you because I know how that feels. But for you to do all this to these women and your hair braider, nigga, your ass is going down. Nobody will ever work with you again. You have no more revenue because your your sales are deplumbing. You already got muted. Radio stations don't even play your music anymore. Hell, they won't even play you with the biggest song fucking you tonight because you're you're such a shame of yourself. Like you really need to think about what you've done. You need to stop your shit and 
You need to cut the shit out. I mean, it's gotten bad for you. Your wife don't even want to come near you. Your wife wants you to go to hell. And then that I Admit song, you know you did a dumbass move making that song. Because you basically don't told on yourself. You're the worst artist of the century. Like, your 12-play album was a piece of shit. That's the... I didn't like that album. It was the worst. Like, all the music that you made, you told on yourself. Yeah, I like that Trapped in the Closet and shit, but that's it. And you are not alone. And I don't like the fact that you sing it. Michael Jackson makes that song better, not you. You might have written it for him, but it wasn't about him. It was about one of those 17-year-old girls you had in the documentary from the, the first season. I fucking dare you. How fucking do you try to make them forget their parents? I know your mom is watching. But wherever she is, she's looking down on you and she's turning over in her grave. Robert Sylvester Kelly, go to hell. May your soul and flesh burn for eternal suffering. You're a piece of shit and you deserve death. Because anybody that molests anybody doesn't deserve to live. They deserve to die. Burn in hell, bitch.